is uh, Manhattan bound, local five, train two. J experience. Hello everyone, welcome to the J experience. As you exit, please be careful of the gap between the platform and the train. Wow, me on the subway? That's crazy. What's up world? Welcome back to the J experience. I'm on the subway and I'm trying to catch this brand new R211T. I tried to catch it before, but I think this might be the train that's coming, so let's go. down the tunnel to see if I see bright LED lights um, but there's another train I waited so there was another B and there's another C right behind it so let's hope that this is it oh my god that is definitely not it I'm not waiting anymore I'm about to go enjoy my day because this shit sucks this shit sucks so much. So obviously this is not the train, but there's an R211A A train going downtown as we speak. That sucked OD. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Anyways, so the, today's theme is just trains. Um, I was trying to get the R211 which is a test train that is being done on the subway right now. Um, obviously that failed miserably. The next train we're about to go get is a Long Island Railroad train. I think. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. So I'm a little irritated from that. Alright, so we made it to Queens. Not only did we made it to Queens, we made it to... Uh, Forest Park, Forest Park is literally behind these gates. Um, I'm walking through somebody's <laughs> building complex area, but that's not the point of the matter. We took the E train, well, sorry. We took the C down to 59th, 59th to the D, the D to the E at 7th Avenue. We took the E to 71st Avenue and Forest Hills to catch the Q23, or I took it to, I think, the Union Turnpike and um, Crescent Street Apartments. And now we are walking, I'm walking to like another avenue so I can like take the long way into the park. Oh no. So this is technically a hike, but uh, I forgot to do my, my Apple watch walking, but just doing this. I'm just being a little bit more active. Ever since I got my car, I've been extremely lazy in the sense as I used to run for the Long Island Railroad and run for the subway run for a bus you know I was used to be a little bit thinner but um, my biking accident which I still have to tell you guys a story about and then my car just made me not as active as I used to be um, but we're trying this year we're gonna try and do that so for my birthday that comes up in August I am a little bit slender won't have this big gut <laughs> and everything else should change. And yes, maybe I should change my eating habits, but mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I love to eat and eating is like a really good pastime for me. In other news, my hair from my trip has held up very well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and do this walk through the park. Have a good time. All right, so we made it to the Forest Park. But if you look over here, this is not the interest I'm gonna go through, but I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. This is one of the Forest Park hiking trails, as you can see. But if you look down here, this is literally a railroad right-of-way. This is a part of an abandoned 
along my railroad line. I do not remember the name, but if you like look straight through, it kind of like all the way to that overpass. This is all abandoned train tracks. Well, this used to be a railway railroad right of way, because look, overhead communication wires used to be right there. A signal used to be right there and straight down, straight through. They are thinking about converting this into like a another park or something like that, but there's another set of train tracks that are kind of this way. I mean, I might as well go this way, but there's another set of train tracks that they're trying to reactivate. Um, and we should maybe go take a look at that. All right, so we made it to the branch or the abandoned train tracks because I call them the abandoned train tracks because these are X Long Island Railroad tracks. These are train tracks that used to be a part of the Lower Montauk branch. The Lower Montauk branch train from Jamaica through Forest Park through, I believe, Metropolitan. Thank you, Apple Watch, for telling me my move ring is closed. Uh, runs like the Metropolitan. I'm not talking to Siri, please, shush. Um, and yeah, so it's just a little piece of history that's publicly accessible. We're actually gonna walk on there, but I did see Long Island Railroad officials. There used to be like a signal like over there but i think they're actually re-putting it back cab signaling works here but i think they're just fixing it at the end of the day we're gonna actually enter right here what the hell is this random flowers and dirt is just falling on i think i'm far enough from them so we're gonna enter the tracks right here also everyone please do not cross active train tracks it is illegal and this is an illegal entry but there's no trains here, so we're good. Also, trains run here at the speed of, um, I believe, 15 miles an hour. So here are the tracks. And it's just, it literally runs right through Forest Park. Like Forest Park is on this side, Forest Park is on this side. So it's just really cool. This is really one of my favorite places in the entire world to come to. It is also where I come to clear my head after having a real shitty day, either at work or in just personal life. All right, sorry, take some selfies. I think I'm gonna walk on the other side because this is the side I wanna walk to. This is the, I believe, that was the blue hiking trail that I was on. This is the yellow one. I want to do that yellow one so I can walk towards Kew Gardens area or Union Turnpike area so I can walk to Flush and Meadows Park because I'm going to meet up with somebody at Flush and Meadows Park. You already know who it is, but you'll wait for the video to actually see who it is. Oh, this is the green trail. The trail's over here. The only problem is there's so many storms that have happened and New York City Parks Department do not keep up this park, especially with these hiking trails. And as a biker, he's literally about to feel the same thing I'm talking about. They do not clean any of these trees. There's a lot of down trees down. And this is not just this segment of area. There's a lot of them. But what he's doing is literally what I used to do when I had my bike through here. All right, I just want to get to the main path over there and then go towards the horse trail because this is also a horse trail path path area too. So, as I did say, this is part of the Long Island Railroad territory. If you look a little further down past those people on the track, yeah, there's a J train and there is a station platform for the old state, old line, old line, excuse me, that used to run down here. Now, up until recently, um, Long Island Railroad did have an in-service or a deadhead run down through Forest Park on these same exact tracks going to Long Island City. Long Island City, because it is still a part of a freight line. Um, and it does connect to the rest of the LIRR's mainline tracks and the Northeast Corridor mainline tracks. Because of course, freight needs to get from Long Island to the city 
and out to the rest of the United States of America. And those tracks obviously connect to it. So it is, again, against the law to go on there. But they're kind of lenient for several reasons. There's a fucking huge ass forest. Um, and on top of that, it runs right through the park. And since there's no active commuter, commuter line trains running through here on a day-to-day -day basis, and there's no third rail power, they are not so like, oh, you can't be on there, but you can't be on it. As like per state, United States, FRA guidelines, and also just for common sense, like there was a curve in one of those shots that I took blind, even though the trains are running at very slow speed. If this was a commuter line, the trains would obviously be running at like 25, 35 miles an hour around that curve. So, that's just for safety purposes, we want to make sure on active tracks, you are not crossing, you are not lounging, you're not walking, you're not doing any of that. God, same thing kind of goes for this too, but it's also like, hmm. I'll give you this. I have been on the tracks when trains ran by. I would give them the common courtesy to go off the, the track and stay on the wayside. But obviously when the train lifts, I've got videos of trains rolling on by. I think I could find in my archives of how many thousands and thousands of photos on my iCloud photo library. I can maybe show you a train video now. So yeah, maybe there was two, maybe there was one. But once again, it is really unsafe to be on tracks so do also cross at your own risk we are finally on the yellow trail i did not get to walk the way i wanted to because it was just too many down trees and i was just like not <laughs> not in the mood to do stepping over and sitting on the tree to get across so we are walking i am about two miles in courtesy of my apple watch this place is very hilly, so it does take some time to walk through it. Um, I believe the local time is 321. By like 445, I should be walking. Thank you, Siri. I didn't ask you what time it was, but thank you. <laughs> um, by 445, I should be walking towards Flesh and Meadow Park. Hopefully that doesn't take too long of a time because the distance of the walk that I'm going to do, it is far. <clears throat> Excuse me, it is far. Eventually I'm gonna have to find a store because I'm really parched. So that should be fun. But I'm enjoying this solitary, like isolated time by myself. Not a person inside. I think I've only seen that one biker and I just made it to two miles. Thank you, Siri. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna continue this walk and we will keep you updated on what I do.